Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am going to do the second part of a review uh, of some cars I purchased online. Uh, these particular Matchbox cars are from 1999 as far as I can tell. Uh, so I'm just going to be um, going through them fairly quickly here. I'm not going to spend too much time on each of them and I'm probably not going to open any of them either. So first of all, we have a 1962 Volkswagen Beetle. It's quite a nice casting. Chrome bumper and back, as you can see. Oh, it's got some insignia at the back there. I didn't even notice that. I think it says something like surfing, but I'm not entirely sure. does seem to have an interior, but it's really, really hard to tell. Next, we have a VW Concept. See the yellow sign there. Once again, it does look like it have, has an interior, but um, it's hard to see it. You can see an arrow on this card, actually. One of the lights has not been filmed in, or filled in, I should say. That's interesting. It's a nice little car. There's the back of it. Just uh, be certain that they are from 1999. Yes, they are. That's as you can see. And once again, it's the uh, you know the boring graphics from the late 90s that Matchbox generically put on most of the um, mint on card vehicles. Okay, next we have a Mercedes-Benz CLK convertible. Now this is a gorgeous casting. Look at that. Look at the interior, look at the detailing. Really, really nice. And of course, all of these are made in China. This one's actually really nice. I'm just looking in the box and I do see at least two more of them. I'm just going to have a quick look at all three of these just to make sure they're all identical. Yeah, so they're all identical. And then just to have one more quick look at it. Look at that. I really should um, trade the uh, the other two with someone. That is really nice. Really, really nice. Probably going to open one of those at some point. Okay, next we have a Fire Flutter. Quite a nice casting again. It's got some weight to it. I like the tires, they've uh, picked good wheels for this particular vehicle. This is MB Fire Department number 7. There's the side. Made in China. Just make sure it's 1999. Oh, yeah, it is. Perfect. I'm just going to pull a few out here. Next, we got the Plymouth Prowler. I've got this in purple somewhere as well. It's actually a really nice casting and a really nice car. Really quite unique design at the time. Plastic base. So black on red with sort of a light gray bumper and uh, really nice. The windscreen sort of a tinted gray. Next we have an Audi TT. It's a good casting, it's too bad it wasn't detailed. It really would have been nice if the emblem and uh, the lights and the grill was detailed there, but there's some good side decals. And once again, the back is not detailed at all. Oh, 
much you have two of these, so. I'm always curious as to why people bought two of a vehicle and so I keep thinking there might be some sort of error or difference, but as you can see, these look absolutely identical. Oh, I do have two of these as well. All right, next we have a 1999 Mustang hardtop. And there are two of those, as you can see. It's good detailing at the back. No number plate, but everything else is detailed. It's got sort of a beigey interior, but it's a really nice car. I remember when these first came out, they were quite popular. There's the back. It's the, the, the bit damaged, that one. It's actually kind of interesting. So that one looks like it was bought somewhere in Asia because it looks like it's 17,900 rupees. Very interesting. I wonder if the card is any different. Oh, they are different actually. One has uh, three plus with that symbol there. The other one just has it written, as you can see. Just have a look at the backs as well. Yeah. So two different cards. One looks like it was purchased in Asia, and I'm guessing the other one is, is a North American purchase. Makes it more difficult to open up. Next we have, what is that? A 1971 Camaro Z28. Once again, it looks like it was bought in Asia. I'm just gonna see if I have, oh yeah, there are a couple more of those, so. Let's look at it, and then I have one that is, yeah, so it's the same difference. So you can see the, the age is three plus, and there it's just the symbol. Of course, there's a third one that just popped open, so uh, I might as well put it on the turntable and give it a spin so that you guys can see it really well. Look at that, what a beauty. It's got a bit of weight to it. Well, that is nice. All right, just uh, speed along here. Next we have a mail truck. It's called the Postal Service Delivery Truck. Really a very cute little casting here. Good detailing on the side and the back. And I'm just curious to see if that's the same casting. I'm not sure if it's identical, but it's very similar. Very similar. I think one's the so the white one's metal, and I and I can't tell if the blue one is metal or plastic, but I think they might both be metal. So that's from a five pack called MB Countryside, and that's from 2019. So. I, I think I have two versions of this particular vehicle. One's from 2019 and the other is 1999. So this one is 20 years older. Very cool. Okay, what do we have next here? Next we have, it's a nice car. Looks like a Camaro. Camaro convertible in red. Look at the detailing. Wow, look at that. Just beautiful. Back's not detailed. Plastic bottom. Black interior. 
it's just really nice look at that okay what do we have here we've got a couple of 1957 thunderbirds once again i think one's yeah, they do have the difference again as you can see one is for age three and over the other just has the symbol and once again one looks like it was bought somewhere in southeast asia or south asia i should say as its rupees cars seem to be identical as far as i can tell I'm gonna move right along here what do we have next so i've got a few more still to review opened okay next we have a Porsche Boxster and I opened a Porsche Boxster last time as well I wonder if it's identical so this is gray on black detailed back it's got uh, Boxster written at the back such a really nice I'm just going to see if I can find the other one I opened last week. One sec here. There it is. So this is the one I opened in part one, which is from, which year is that? It's from 1998. And look at that. There is a difference. I see it right away. One is red and one is black interior. And also, the, the red version has the Porsche symbol colored in at the front, as well as the Boxster. So the, this is the 1998 version. The 1999 version has, is fu fully black interior, no logo uh, filled in, and the backs are identical as you can see oh that is great i love finding variations the same vehicle brilliant oh i got quite a few of those porsches here so i have quite a few porsches so including the one we just looked at there are four of them and they all look absolutely identical yeah, there's no difference. Cool. We have another VW concept, which we already looked at, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time. The previous version, oh, look at that. Neither light is filled in. So I have one version where one light was filled in, as you can see there, and the second version neither light has been filled in. That is excellent. I love finding stuff like that. So I wonder if the person that originally purchased these bought two of them because they noticed or he noticed um, the variation. I'll never know, I guess. Next, we have a Mustang convertible, yellow, really, really nice. Yellow on black, black bottom plastic, no detail. This car would have been really, really nice if it was detailed. It is an excellent casting. Unfortunate. Look at that. That is just a fantastic SUV. It's a Chevy Tahoe. Fantastic detailing on the sides. Beautiful chrome grille. That looks really good. Interior is blue and it's a chrome bottom. Love the fact that Matchbox did so much chrome in the late 90s, which is something that they've gone away from uh, in the last 10 or 15 years, I'm going to say. Not sure what that is. It's quite fantasy as far as I'm concerned. It's called the uh, Deep Diver. Not my cup of tea. It's all right. Next we have something called the Auto Shuttle. 
This one's really nice. I'm probably going to open it because I like displaying these and putting cards on them. There's the bottom. Looks like it's got some moving parts. Really nice. Once again, I paid I paid about a dollar each for for most of these, or for all of these, I should say. Got them all as one big lot of almost a hundred uh, different vehicles. So next we have something called a battering ram. Once again, not something that I would personally collect, but I guess it's it's quite. A good toy as far as as far as, far, as, far as kids go and uh, yeah it is what it is oh it's police it does say police on it all right a fire engine called flex attack looks like it's some part of an American series which is interesting because I don't think it's licensed It says ladder number four, Cleveland, and it is from 1991. I like the, the wheels on it. Looks quite good, I think. All right, almost there. Oh, another Mercedes. I'm not going to spend any time on it. Looks identical to the other three that we already saw, so I have four of those. And what else? Here? Oh, look at this. I love this. Mercedes-Benz ML430. That looks really, really sharp. Worth a tow hook. Fantastic. Black interior, open sunroof. Really, really nice. What a great casting. Too bad it didn't fill in the lights and the, and the number plate as they did in the front, but still quite nice. Got a few of these in different colors. Uh, it's called the Viper GTS. This one is gray. And it's got the emblem, the Dodge emblem at the front and the detailed lights at the back. And it's got a really, really nice brownie beige uh, interior with a black plastic uh, bottom. And then three more. This one's actually really nice. It's called the Mercedes-Benz Track 1600 Turbo. Is this really a Mercedes? Yeah, it is a Mercedes Benz. I see the Mercedes sign there. Very cool. How cool is that? Next, we have, once again, part of the American series. I see an American flag there. It's called Garbage. Of course, it's a garbage truck, and I've got quite a few older versions of this with a UK base that I haven't pulled out. So, but they are there somewhere. There's the bottom, and once again, that's a moving part. I had a version of this as a child, probably thirty-five or forty years ago. It's quite nice. And last but not least from that box, which is empty now, is something called a Venture Star, which is an X-33 reusable launch vehicle. I'm guessing this is, it might be licensed for it, you know. It's got something written there. Let me see if I can see it. Ugh. Oh, look at the detailing. There's an American flag. And it does say something, but I just can't get it to focus. I think it says Venture Star. Let's see if I can read it without. Uh... Yeah, it says Venture Star and something else, which I unfortunately I can't 
Oh, Venture Star and then the writing Lockheed Martin. Look at that. It is, it's a licensed product. That is so cool. And that's it. And then I, I just pulled out a lot of other vehicles that I have um, that are Chinese, that have a Chinese base, so made in, made in China. Um, and then I was at a local collector's place yesterday and I purchased, um, they were $3 each. Uh, so this is from... I guess it's been covered here. I'm just gonna peel it. So this is from 1997. And it's called the GMC Wrecker. Just gonna move that aside. And I have a couple more. I really, really like this casting, and I'm gonna try and get them all. Um, and there's probably about 10 or 15 to collect, so. I just got the third one for my collection. So the CAA is something that, uh, um, I think it's, it's something to do with BCAA and it was uh, given out as a promotional toy by BCAA is what I gather. And then I found this at a local charity shop and I think it's quite rare because it appears that there aren't too many online. And then that seems like the a similar version of the white one with uh, you know the same pattern but just in different colors. So really, really, really nice vehicle. And I'm gonna have hopefully ten of them before the end of the year. That's my goal. Okay. And then I also bought those two, three dollars each, Canadian. I think they're quite cool. And uh, where is that from? It's from 1996. It's so well over 25 years. It's quite nice. And there's another version of it. It's called, it says Highway Department. Interesting number 45 on each of those boxes and this particular one is from 1994 and the reason I bought those two is because I already had that one Which is I'm not sure exactly when but it's probably within the last five years. It's got three different versions of it And it's going to be another one that I'm going to definitely start collecting now that I've got three of them And that I found at a charity shop probably a month ago. So put those aside. And then, so I collected Matchbox from the time I was about four or five years old. Um, and I loved them, I played with them. Um, this is one I purchased. So I stopped collecting at around 13. And when I came to Canada and was in university, happened to be at a Zellers and I purchased this because this particular vehicle was one of my favorites. The blue version of that was one of my favorites as a kid. But this version, which is got a Chinese base, was so poorly manufactured. It's just so light and you know when you compare it to the red version, the quality is just not even in the same ballpark like it, it you you would think it was an imitation it's so poor compared to the you know the, the english version that's probably a good 40 something years old now and i literally stopped collecting matchbox after i purchased this because i was just so disappointed so i just share that but then this is also a chinese version slightly different version of that particular vehicle, or at least that particular vehicle, it's quite similar to that. But this one is, the, the the material is actually quite good and it's quite well crafted. And I just picked this up about a month ago. Obviously some kids played with it. And it's been crafted 
much, much better than the horrible plastic version there. And then just to quickly go over, these are all Chinese bases. Not sure which uh, which years they're from, but there's a bunch of them. Police car. Another Mustang. This one's really interesting. I'm not sure when it was made or was, uh, I, I bought it from a collector who said it was from the Mattel store and it was exclusive to the Mattel store uh, but he wasn't certain of it and uh, I haven't had a chance to do any research on it so it's a Nissan Xterra I've never seen it before it says patrol on it not sure how rare it is I paid three bucks for it I'm not sure what it's worth and I think that might be a Nissan Xterra as well. Not entirely sure. That, so that's from a nine pack uh, from 2021. Or it might be 2020, I can't remember now. But that's the exclusive and I think that is a Nissan Xterra as well. Anyways guys, thanks for watching my channel. Um, I uh, just put this together quickly. Sorry, those three are also from Chinese models that I, you know, I purchased a five pack and my nephew got a hold of these and done some damage to them, but just uh, popped them all out because I don't have a lot of matchbox that's been made from China or made in China. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching and please do subscribe to my channel. And if you enjoyed the video, please do like it. Thank you. Have a fantastic week.